Well, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today we're on the K40 again. Um, I've just designed some wooden cogs and I'm using 3mm light plywood. Uh, I can't tell you what milliamps because it's just on a dial. Right. This is the most mesmerising thing I've ever done. Right, here we go. It just cut through with the first the first pass, so you haven't got to do two or three passes. It just basically cuts. I should have air assist on here actually, but if I turn my pump on, you'll not hear the uh, the vocals. will actually cut um, birch plywood 3mm on one pass which is pretty good um, I use round about, I'm using at minute 6 milliamp um, but I use round about 8 to 10 milliamp on the um, the 3 mil birch ply doesn't seem to have an issue with that like I say I normally use air assist on this to stop it catching fire It's pretty good. Um, I've made up to now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different size cogs. Although the teeth um, do get smaller as you make smaller cogs, because I can't get the, the teeth the same size, um, it does work if you gear it down slowly. So I've, I have got a little demo model which I've just stuck on a piece of plywood. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just cut this cog. They are a real good machine. These once you get get to know how to use them properly. If you look at them teeth, I don't know if you can see it from there, but they'll not mesh with that big one. So what you've got to do is gear ratio it down so they get smaller and smaller and smaller, or bigger and bigger, whichever. going to be a little project of mine, another one of my projects. On this video I'm going to put a few photographs on as well, uh, my projects what I've actually made with this, like clocks and key rings and other things like that. I've actually sold quite a few clocks, um, I've probably sold £300 worth altogether, I'm only selling them for £15. UK pounds, um, but yeah, I've got them on Facebook and people keep um, placing orders, which I'm quite surprised. But they do take round about three to four hours to make per clock. But you'll see what I mean when I show you some still photos. I'll just do this last cog, and then we'll jump to the uh, the wooden board with the cogs attached. Like I say, I can use a bit thicker wood, but for what I'm using, it's perfectly fine. This it's pretty expensive, though. It works out roughly a pound a sheet, about forty-eight pound for fifty sheets. But can I warn you, when you buy it in A4 sheets, plywood, any plywood, any type, be prepared for most of it to be bent and misshapen. Um, I've been getting packs of fifty, and fifty percent's been warped, so you've got to be be aware of that. I wouldn't think it'd matter too much with making these cogs because they're only small items but if you're making something big um, you're gonna have problems. Uh, we'll just do this one. I said that last time. I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm not very good on camera um, but I'm just showing you a few few little ideas what I've what I've done with this machine. Obviously if you look at the other videos you'll see modifications what I've made. Right, 
Right, we'll just leave it at that for now. And there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six cogs all cut out. Right, size of my hand. These are the little sprockets, cogs, what you want to call them. Um, ignore these little bobbles, these were the failed ones. Um, there's a few templates you can download free off, um, off the internet. But I've tried loads and loads of designs and even if the cogs are identical they will not mesh together for some reason, they're the catching the, the no board. So I've gone for this fine tooth one. I've tried different shaped cogs, I've tried these ones, they don't mesh. Finally found one what I can actually use. Anyway, we'll just, uh, if you see, they do mesh together even though the cogs do get smaller as they as they get smaller and smaller, obviously, and bigger and bigger. But because I've stepped it down in stages, um, they tend to fit. However, they will go and keep popping off back and forward. But you can't do it from the small side that they do jam. So I don't know why, well, I don't know why that is, but and you can't do it from anywhere else. It will not turn <laughs> apart from the, the first one. Either way, strange, but as you can see, you could make some interesting features. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna decide to, to build with these cogs, but it could be something interesting, I'm sure. Maybe something with moving pistons or something on it. Yeah, so that's, that's it up to now. A few of the little things I've been making out of Plexi, Perspex 3mm. Um, it's difficult to show you with this light. Um, little key rings, keepsake things. Just try a different position at light. It's difficult to see. I don't know if you can see that. Little key rings are quite nice. A few people have actually bought them. Um, I were also doing them in wood. Um, also, little love art ones. People have been ordering these ones. Plexi. It's pretty expensive. That works out at four pound fifty a sheet, unless you get a multi pack. I've got a multi-pack of eBay for £30 and you got 12 sheets. Another blue one there. Um, that were an order. These were ordered, some little angels. So yeah, um, I'll try and find some photos of me, uh, me clocks. Back again. Right, I did do something with the um, the cogs. Um, I don't know if you've heard of steampunk, but it was new to me today when I was looking on on Google. But uh, yeah, a working clock with working gears. How cool is that? I like that myself. 